Okay, so continuing with the uh, the theme that we've been working on, we're going to um, experiment with our background now. So we're going to change our desert background into something else. So what I'm now doing is finding the project that I've been working on so far, um, which is the Lambo Cutout Adobe Fireworks uh, PNG. So I'm just going to double click that. That'll open Fireworks up to where I currently am. Now at the moment the view is set to 100%, which is why it's zoomed in so much. So let's just zoom out a little bit. Um, and you can see that I have my black and, round, black and white background and my color car copy. Now I could just go ahead and import a new uh, a new image if I wanted, um, or uh, going back I can actually um, hide the uh, the background I currently have. So let's do that first. Let's hide the background. So I've done that. And now I'm going to import our new background, which will be the uh, fields background. So now I've imported that. I just place it, and now when I move it into position you can see I can't see my car anymore. Now if we look at our layers, you know it's there, I've not deleted it, um, and it's not hidden. All you can see is that actually the order of the layers determines what you can see on top of what. So what I need to do is I need to take my fields background and move it underneath my car, which by doing you can see my car now appears. So now I have a car and a different background, um, and now I just need to think about um, using some filters and some positioning to make this look like a real picture. Um, and I can do that simply by selecting the fields background um, and using filters. We'll use the motion blur filter again. And just remember the angle needs to be the, the, the angle in which you want the blur to, to occur. So um, to make it look like we're speeding along, we can make it around the 180 degree mark and just increase the distance so it looks like we're moving quite quickly. And as we do that, and as the computer catches up, you'll see that the blur actually makes it look like the car is speeding along. And now all we need to do is just position the car a little bit because at this point it looks a little bit like the car is floating in the air. So we can just make sure we select the correct layer, which will be the, the top layer, and then just move the car around until we're happy with it. And once you find a position, say something like that, it now looks like the car is on a new background and is speeding along through um, fields and fields with a, a dramatic sky.